Hello, hello, kindergartners! Welcome to day four of art. Remember this week we have talked about lines, so we have thin, we have thick, we have straight, we have wavy, zigzag, dashed, dotted, and fancy. And we've also talked about value with how hard you press on something means it gets lighter or darker. And today what we are going to do is we are going to talk about shapes. Uh, so shapes are very important in art, and you actually use lines to make shapes. Um, so what you will need today is your color value paper, a pair of scissors, and something to draw with. I just have a crayon. So what you are going to do first... Alright, so we are going to talk about scissor safety. So I have my big pair of scissors right here. Whenever you are walking with scissors, you are going to take your hand and you are... So we have two different parts of scissors. We have the handle and we have the blade. When you are walking with scissors, you are always going to put your hands completely around your blade and you are going to walk with it down here. And the reason that you are going to do that is then if like you trip or something, you don't have to worry about that blade coming up and maybe like cutting your arm or something. So remember when you are walking, your hand will always go like this. And you just walk normal. We do not run with scissors. The other thing is when you are cutting with your scissors, you are always going to cut away from you. So if you are cutting out a circle, you can always rotate or move your object that you are cutting, never remove your scissors. You want to always have your scissors pointed away from you. Why do we think we would want to do that? Yep, it's to keep you safe, because if the pointy end is away from you, then the pointy end will never go near you, and then you will never get hurt. So we are talking about different shapes. Um, there are two different kinds of shapes. There's going to be shapes that are called geometric shapes, and then there are shapes that are going to be called organic shapes. So geometric shapes are the shapes that you will usually see in math class. So those are your triangles, your rectangles, your squares, your circles. Whereas we also have organic shapes, and those are the shapes that you would usually see out in nature. So like blob shapes, or the heart shape or a teardrop shape. Those are a couple of examples of organic shapes. So with our lesson we are going to be using some of these shapes and we are going to be cutting them out of our color value paper. Is you are going to cut out each of those four areas on your color value paper When you are done with that, you are going to flip them over and you are going to draw some different shapes on the back. You could draw a really big shape, like you could draw a really big square, you could draw a little heart, you could draw a circle. Um, you could also use the edges of your paper, so that's like the sides of your paper, to add to your shape. And then what you are going to do is you are going to take your scissors and you are going to cut those shapes out. Remember that when you are cutting things, you can move, I would suggest you move the paper. I would keep your scissors exactly where they are and I would always move my paper because remember you always want to cut away from you, you never want to cut towards you. You have cut out at least two shapes from each of those different sections of your color value paper, you are going to stick them onto your line paper. So if you have glue in your house, you can stick glue on the back of those pieces of paper, those little shapes that you made, and you can stick them right onto your line paper. If you do not have glue and you're like, well, I have tape in my house, you could take little pieces of tape and you could use tape to stick your artwork together. Once you are done, you are going to take a picture of that and you are going to upload it online. 
to this activity. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.